from the lorentz transformation we know that x prime is equal to x minus vt upon square root 1 minus v square upon c square t prime is equal to t minus xv upon c square upon square root 1 minus v square upon c square here we have defined ux and ux prime that is equal to dx upon dt and dx prime upon dt prime so we know that what is ux and what is ux prime so how to drive the ux and ux prime that basically comes solved from the lorentz transformation by differentiating this coordinate this relationship of x prime and t prime so x prime is equal to x minus vt differentiation part of it can be written as dx prime is equal to dx minus v dt upon square root 1 minus v square upon c square and here t prime that can be written as dt prime is equal to dt minus dx v upon c square upon square root 1 minus v square upon c square so one can write now the ux prime that is defined by dx prime upon dt prime and now you have to put the value of dx prime and dt prime by taking here so dx prime is equal to this dx minus v dt right and uh, dt prime is equal to this one so when you will put this value of dx prime and dt prime this factor cancel out and you will get this thing dx minus v dt upon square upon this dt minus dx v upon c square further what you have to do you have to just take out the dt common take out this dt outside so this become dx upon dt minus v and from here dt take out so this dt and this dt cancel out so here will be 1 minus dx upon dt into v upon this c square we have already defined this dx upon dt is what that is ux right that is ux velocity component along the x direction according to the observer over so you can write here ux prime is equal to ux minus v upon is 1 minus ux v upon c square and ux is equal to ux prime this is in inverse by using the inverse Lorentz transformation if suppose you have to find out the value of ux then that will be ux prime plus v upon 1 plus ux prime v upon c square in this mathematical formulation uh, how basically you drive the result for ux prime you know that uh, we have a frame of reference uh, everything uh, we are defining by using the frame of reference so i will try to make this concept again um, clear here this is our s frame that is a stationary frame a coordinate of this x this is z this one is y and observer is here so this is our frame of reference in which our observer is at the center and this is denoted by s another frame that is a moving frame denoted by s prime has the coordinates x prime z prime and y prime this s prime frame is moving along the positive x axis along this direction with the relative speed v this v is relative speed with respect to this stationary frame right so o prime is here so one can define any event here p if that event has to define by the o prime observer that will be x prime y prime z prime and t prime and if this event has to define by the o observer that will define this coordinate in this event in his coordinate x y z and t right in his frame of reference so this is the basic idea and now the point is suppose there is a 
particle or any other object is moving uh, in forward direction with respect to the O prime observer. So this is that object you can say uh, it any particle or any object this is in S prime plane and moving along the positive axis moving a forward direction right in this positive axis so this is the point about this particular object so one can find out uh, the velocity component right for this particle that will be ux prime uy prime and uz prime along x axis y axis z axis so this for this particle that is in free space and uh, now we have made assume assumption that this is in forward direction towards the positive direction so one can find out these uh, component of the velocity ux prime uy prime uz prime why i have considered here prime frame because this particle is in uh, s prime frame and moving into the forward direction that is the positive x direction and ux prime is the according to the o prime observer if i have to find out the speed velocity component according to the o observer uh, they will be ux uy and uj and one can find out these component with the help of lorentz transformation so as you have seen here in the earlier slide that i have find out here ux prime only and ux with the help of this lorentz transformation x prime and t prime so one can write x also x is equal to x prime plus v t prime upon the spectra and similarly t is equal to t prime plus x prime v upon c square so in lorentz inverse or uh, inverse lorentz transformation one can write this uh, relationship right so here uh, ux prime is equal to ux minus v 1 minus ux v upon c square so if uh, i have to find out one of the important point to keep in your mind to solve the numerical problem is that if in the numerical problem i have to find out ux prime then i will use this formula ux minus v 1 minus ux v upon c square it means numer in numerical problem these two parameters are given ux and v and c we know that is the speed of light v is the relative velocity ux is the velocity of that particle according to the observer o as i have mentioned here that ux will be the speed uh, or you can say in terms of the component along the x axis according to the observer o so this is the point only but if suppose you know only this formula ux prime is equal to ux minus v upon 1 minus ux v upon c square right and uh, in the numerical problem you have to find out the ux so don't try to rearrange the terms in this particular formula if you have to find out the ux according to the observer o the velocity component then you have to use this particular formula so don't try to rearrange this term that you have to find out ux so rearrange this particular formula then you have to only use this formula and this is derived by uh, using the inverse lorentz transformation so if one have to find out the ux right don't put the value of ux prime v here ux and v here right so make it clear that if you have to find out ux then you have to use this formula and if you have to find out the ux prime then you have to uh, find out uh, this formula you have to use this particular formula 
right because uh, these formulas are derived uh, keeping in mind the uh, relative speed of the object and observer so this was the first point in this particular topic now i have already explained the basic fundamental of this uh, particular topic by uh, making that click parts i am repeating again that i have considered here uh, these things that a biker a, a bike and some a building a, a stationary object and this man basically uh, this o prime observer uh, this bike a moving frame and the person is standing here that is a rest frame so now the point is if you have the basic idea or the picture is clear uh, this particular picture is clear right that uh, this is an observer o prime this one uh, is a moving frame a throw a ball and here is a stationary frame standing on the uh, cross the road so if these things are clear you can generalize this picture to anywhere right there are v is the relative speed of the bike ux prime is uh, basically the speed of the ball ux is the speed of this ball according to the o observer if this point is clear you can generalize this idea to anywhere whether there are two spacecraft into this space both are moving into the same direction or moving in opposite direction so if suppose this person uh, the o prime observer throw this ball in opposite direction instead of forwarding direction it throw in opposite direction then the speed ux prime will be positive or negative now the ux prime will be negative and similarly for the o observer this observer if this rider this o prime observer is moving along the positive x direction and throw the ball in opposite direction then the speed will be minus ux prime and obviously that is speed will be um, considered as negative relative to this o observer so one uh, important point in this uh, numerical problems so i was saying that the, uh, you can you can generalize this idea to anywhere uh, to the spacecraft uh, to uh, any uh, rocket launcher or anywhere wherever you want to use this formula you can use you can use this concept right there is only one uh, rider uh, that is in a moving frame o prime observer second observer this man throw a ball right see in his frame of reference that is considered as ux prime here this man see uh, this speed of the ball as ux so you have seen earlier that there are only these two formula ux prime is equal to ux minus v and other is ux is equal to ux prime plus v it means there are only three variable ux prime v and ux if you know about this you can solve all these problems so now i am considering the uh, numerical problem based on it and keep in mind keep in my, your mind that i have used uh, here a basic example of a biker who is moving in positive x direction throw a ball right in his frame uh, in forward direction and there is a person who is standing across the road that is in rest frame so this is my point and this is the concept on this concept i have to solve some numerical problems